everyone, I'm Catherine, I'm the Physics Access Officer at Oxford University and today I'm going to be looking at one way to solve question 16 of the 2013 PAT past paper. That question is like this. Uh, a four-wheeled car of mass 1,000 kilograms rests on the ground. If each tyre is inflated to two bar, where one bar equals 100 kilopascals, what area of each tyre is in contact with the ground? Assume a uniform distribution of mass across the car. OK, so what we've got is we've got a four-wheeled car. Uh, I'm going to draw a somewhat untypical diagram of a car with the four wheels like this. We've got our four-wheeled car. We've got uh, it has a mass of 1000 kilograms. So uh, its weight, the force acting downwards, uh, W, uh, we're going to do W equals mg. The weight is going to be 1000 kilograms times, we'll say G equals 10, to give us a total force downwards of 10,000 newtons. And that is going to be equally distributed across the four wheels. That's what uh, it's trying to tell us when it says assume a uniform distribution of mass across the car. There's nothing to make us suppose that there's going to be more mass or more weight over one wheel than another. So the uh, force on each wheel is going to be a quarter of the total force. So the force on each wheel is going to be 10,000 divided by 4 which is 2,500 newtons. So that's the force on the wheel. Now, what does that mean in terms of the, the tyres and the pressures? Well, if the tyre is not very inflated, if it's quite kind of loose, you can imagine that it's going to get more squashed. So you're going to have... Uh, your tyre is either, if it's not very uh, high pressure, it's going to have quite a lot of area squashing down on it when there's the force acting on it or if it's inflated to a very high pressure then there might only be a kind of a little bit of deformation and a relatively small area touching so we could be looking at a bigger area or a smaller area and that's what we're trying to work out given that the tyre is inflated to this pressure two bars where one bar equals 100 kilopascals what area is of the tyre is actually going to be in contact with the ground. So we've got a force of 2,500 newtons. We've got a pressure of two bar where one bar is 100 kilopascals. So our pressure is uh, two bar, which is 200 kilopascals uh, or 200 times 10 to the 3 pascals. OK, that's our pressure. If we're thinking about pressure, force and area, there's a formula that connects those three. Pressure is force divided by area. So if we want to know the area, we need to do force divided by pressure. So uh, area equals force divided by pressure. Now the force on one wheel we already calculated 2500 newtons 2500 newtons and the pressure we said is 200 times 10 to the 3 pascals making sure that we're using uh, right units here. So we just need to calculate that so we've got, um, let's put them all in standard form. We've got 2.5 times 10 to the 3 divided by 2 times 10 to the 5, which is going to be uh, 2.5 divided by 2 is 1.25. And 10 to the 3 divided by 10 to the 5 is going to be 1 over 10 to the 2, which is 10 to the minus 2. And because we're all in our usual units, then that is 
1.25 times 10 to the minus 2 square metres for our area. And that is what the question was asking us to calculate. It asked us to find the area of each tyre in contact with the ground, and that is precisely what we have given. So, that's one way to look at question 16.